Hello my friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anne Ovella and today it's Friday so I will deep dive into two books. Um, both are written by Japanese authors, female authors, and they both tackle the same subject and it's uh, misogyny. The first book is Earthlings by um, Sayaka Murata and the other is uh, The Waiting Years by Fumiko Enshi. Fumiko Enshi is a very highly respected author uh, that lived in the first half of the 20th century in Japan. She won a very important uh, award also for her literature and The Waiting Years is about a woman named uh, Tomo. She is married to uh, a man that is 10 years older. They have two children. One boy, but that boy lives in the countryside, that doesn't live with the family, and a girl. This story starts when Tomo is about 30, 35, something like that. And her husband says, well, look, you're a bit older, you're getting a bit older, I want uh, to have a concubine. So look for a girl for me that I will like, and uh, she has to be between 13 and 15. This enrages Tomo, but she does what she is told. Uh, this story is set in 1800, uh, so she doesn't have much choice but to please her husband. She goes to look for a girl and it takes her several months and um, whilst she does that you can really feel the boiling anger be behind that uh, stoic uh, facade. She finds a girl, Sugi I believe, or Suga, and um, the girl is 15, they pay, well, the girl is from an impoverished family um, and they pay the, uh, the parents uh, a beautiful sum of money and Suga comes and lives with the family. At the beginning, Suga thinks she's only there to um, clean and cook, but then after a couple of weeks, he takes advantage of her and then uh, she realizes where, why she is hired and uh, why uh, her family got a large sum of money for her. That shocks her and enrages her and leaves her also in a way traumatized. With Suga, she is not as stoic as uh, Tomo, but she expresses her anger more via her body. Her body reacts differently and, and she is unable to have children, for instance. And uh, then after a couple of years, the husband is fed up with his two wives and he goes and finds another concubine. This time it's a 16 year old, 16 year old girl um, and uh, she is from a very well off family but they are without any means. Uh, they were uh, descendants of uh, a samurai. He pays another large sum for that girl, he takes advantage of her. But luckily for that girl, you can get out of uh, the arrangement when you find a husband to marry. And that girl does. Years go by and the husband has a long-term relationship with an in-law. Uh, I won't say who, it's not important. but. To Tomo, it is horrible to endure all of that. And that's why the book is called The Waiting Years. She has to wait it out. She is literally 
waiting for 40 years till the husband dies. So she can be herself again, because not only is uh, the husband very uh, volatile and very obnoxious, so is her son and her grandson. Their respect for women is absolutely zero, absolutely zero. But she endures and does everything she can, that she does everything she is taught to be a good wife. And that's the story of the waiting years. It is heartbreaking, heart-wrenching, but it's all with restraint. That's the power of this book. It's the restraint is enormous. You can feel Tomo's power, but she knows how to be stoic and just to be the perfect wife. And then you have Earthlings by uh, Murata. Earthlings is about a young girl. She's, uh, she, it starts at the age of nine. And summer holidays, she spends the whole summer holiday with her nephew, who has the same age. And they promise each other that they will survive together no matter what. When the girl comes back, from school uh, to uh, the, the city and she goes to school, her teacher, male teacher, takes advantage of her. And that uh, leaves, of course, tremendous trauma. She takes revenge and she more and more feels alienated from the people. Also, her parents don't treat her with respect. They say she, that she's stupid, that she's ugly, that she can't do anything right. And she lives under a mountain of critique. And yeah, they, 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 they don't have a good word for her. It's, it's always bad what she does. Together with the trauma at school, the more and more she gets alienated from her surroundings and she thinks that she is literally an alien. Then she meets her husband and he too is traumatized and he follows her into her story so he also thinks that he is an alien. And then later on her she meets her nephew again and they form a sort of Trio. They have a very deep bond and they all think they come from a certain planet. And they do the most outrageous things to survive in a way. This book is the total opposite of The Waiting Years. In every single way, it is completely over the top. Uh, it is gruesome and engrossing. It is funny and... Uh, horrible and um, shocking and every thing imaginable is done in that book and in the story and but still it is such a very interesting counterbalance for the waiting years it's like they level each other out and it was very interesting to read them at the same time I consumed Earthlings via um, uh, audiobook and the woman who read it, I will uh, look up her name, um, she does an amazing job in telling the story and uh, her voice makes it even more alien, more weird and, and strange and out of this world in a way. It is very interesting and they tackle the same subject, but it's so completely different the way they uh, use language and the way they use uh, form. And yeah, it's, it's completely different, but still very interesting to see both side by side. So uh, the waiting years is very restrained, not shocking at all, but you can feel the, the power underneath this the stoic face of Tomo and with uh, Earthling it's it's yeah it's abundance of uh, gross 
things. Yeah, it's um, very interesting to see how both female authors tackled the, the subject. So yeah, that's it. Um, I highly recommend both books. Of course, Earthlings, there's uh, a warning sign. It's uh, very, very graphic. So if you are um, squeamish, better not read it. Um, the Waiting Years has a, a classic element to it. It, it is uh, timeless and very interesting. You learn a lot about how um, concubines are hired and I didn't know there was kind of a sort of slavery also. And uh, yeah, it was very interesting read and absolute classic uh, in Japanese literature. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I see you next Sunday for my Sunday Coffee Clutch. You're all invited. And it will be a little bit different, I think. But I am pretty sure you will love it. See you Sunday. Bye-bye.